Hello, Hello witch folk. folk! Welcome to our coven. We are Angels on Broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. I'm Evangeline. And I'm Kristen. And we like to have fun with makeup and sometimes a little bit of witchcraft. What are we doing today? Today we are just talking about skincare. Good old fashioned good old fashioned skincare um, because we think it's so crucial for makeup and having that beautiful base makes all the difference in the world to makeup. So we're gonna be going into depth on our different skin types, what we use, what we like, what we... And we're not experts, but we've no. we've dabbled in a lot of things over the oh couple of God. years, especially during the pandemic. I have dabbled into so much stuff so over much. the years. I've tried the minimal technique. I've tried all natural beauty. I've tried... Just Dove soap as my only thing with a crappy moisturizer. I've done it all. I've done it all. Yeah, me too. I've tried everything, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what I like. Yeah, so okay. let's get started, and we're going to go kind of step by step. Want to talk about cleansers? Like when we wash our face at night. Yes. Okay. At night. To take so I, the makeup. I'll, I'll just go first, right? Is that yeah, okay? Go, go. Okay. So I shower at night because it's a good Blast time. for me. No, because <laughs> when I was a young girl, I read Brooke Shields' book when yeah. she went to Princeton University, okay. and she said she lived in a dorm, so when you shower at night, you have the showers to yourself. True. Nobody else is showering, and plus you get to go to bed nice and clean. Yes. Like, I don't know why people go, you know how dirty you are in well, the day? Well, do you know how dirty you are after your morning poop? <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna keep that in? Okay. I don't know. Oh, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, so <laughs> so I do my shower at night. So first thing is I like to double cleanse, and it's very important. Mm. And what is double cleansing? It's literally you're washing your face twice, but with two different products generally. And of course you can get away with one, but like I have found over the years when I used to wash my face with. Oh, dermatologists recommend Spectrogel. I'd use the Spectrogel, mm -hmm. get out of the shower, dry. I'd have raccoon eyes, and plus my skin would feel tight. Oh, that's the worst. Tight and dry, yeah. and ugh. So I discovered cleansing balms, cleansing oils. So currently what I use is Avain. This is a cleansing oil from the drugstore, from mm. Shoppers Drug Mart. It's like, I don't know, $20 or so. Um, I had tried some really good ones through Sephora, uh, pharmacy, pharmacy with an F, uh, has a cleansing mm. balm, and they were great, except I was noticing the drain in my bathtub oh. wasn't draining, and then when I would wash my face in the sink, sometimes the sink was like filling up, and oh then my God. I put the Drano in, I don't know if that's bad, I don't care, <laughs> then a blob of the product, like, <laughs> it all, almost came out like oh my God. pristine, like you, I could reuse it again, except oh. that it was covered in Drano. But, um, so Ooh. I kind of, I like this one because it's like a thickened oil and it doesn't clog your drain. And, you know, <laughs> yes, at the end, it's kind of like really thick, like a yeah. pump of splooge yeah. comes on your face, but like it still works nicely. Yes. It's still, it breaks up the makeup. You can technically get away, like if you, you took your time using it for a long time, uh, you could get away with just cleaning with that, but... I like to, I've discovered Tatcha, this cleansing, the, the deep, deep cleanse. cleanse, yes. So this is a small version. I used to get tons of, tons of these with my points from Sephora. Yeah, but yeah. I finally got the big bottle. And you just use a little like pea size amount. And then after you rinsed off the oil, it goes in nicely. And there's a little, not grit, because back in the day we used to use... You know, apricot scrub. Yeah, walnut shells yeah, and like whatever. Yeah, like scrub scrub. Like my dad used to use snap on his hands. Like I swear. Mm. I think I might have tried snap. What's snap? It's something that you use when you've been painting oh with, with oil paint. And oh, like, God. To get rid of all that. Like it's so bad. That's a, like a, a physical exfoliant, Yikes. which isn't necessarily bad, I don't think. Yeah. But if you are doing a physical exfoliant, it should be very gentle. And this has a tiny, I don't know, it's like a rice particle or something, but not big rice, dried up rice, but <laughs> it's just you can feel a tiny little something, something. Mm -hmm. And it feels so good. And then you can, when you get out of the shower, dry off, you don't feel at all that tightness. 
That's the worst feeling. I feel like if you feel that, that it's not a good cleanser. Yeah. It's not. It's bad. No. And you, you don't have, and because you've double cleansed, your eye sh shite is off. And like even your lipstick's off. Everything's off. Yeah. No, no residue. Do you want to tell me what you use to cleanse? I use the Province Apothecary Moisturizing Oil and Makeup Remover. This is a Toronto based company and this is clean beauty and this is all like totally natural ingredients i i'm sort of navigating away from this brand only because of the price point but it's really been revolutionary to my skincare because something about cleansers every cleanser i've tried even what is it la roche posay that's supposed to be for the most sensitive of sensitive skin made my face so freaking itchy i suspect there's some weird ingredient that shows up in many cleansers that I don't know if this is not a common issue but it's enough that every time I've used a cleanser my face is itchy AF so I use this cleansing oil it just dissolves all the makeup and then I use a microfiber towel a new fresh one every day and wipe it off some people maybe will feel like Robert Welsh and uh, James. 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 And James Robert Welsh, Welsh would disapprove of this <laughs> message, but I find it works for me, and I find it stops my skin from reacting. So that's what I do. I don't do double cleanse. You don't double cleanse. No. But sometimes I use like micellar, micellar water to like get some serious eyeshadow off. But I do mm. not double cleanse. Okay. But I use an oil. The next step after you shower. There's a couple of things I do. In fact, there's many things I do because I have so many products. I like to use uh, like a serum next. Mm. And so not every day, I just started on retinol. So I, I just have, I have a few retinols. I've got um, the ordinary, but this one is the Sunday Riley retinol. And it's just a, it's a serum and I put it on and retinol is supposed to help you with wrinkles. Hello. Yeah. But, you know, wrinkles, I, like wrinkles aren't even my enemy. Yeah, whatever. It's like skin texture. Like, I just think it's mostly important to take care of your skin to make it look the best it can be at whatever age it is. So mm -hmm. it, it helps to, you know, do some of these things like the retinols. And sometimes I'll use the skin brightening serum, which is the vitamin C. Yeah. And sometimes I use a like if something else like that I don't have right here, but the ordinary has a cocktail of one. The um, buffet. Yeah. Yes, the buffet. buffet. You have that? No, I've oh. never used it. <laughs> okay. Who's that? It's some person that always calls. Okay. What's a like dude? A dude? <laughs> no, I don't know who it is. It's a. Um, I I don't know who they are. <laughs> okay, so then I Okay. Well, I, I tone. I use a toner after I cleanse. You don't tone? I tone in the morning with the um, I'll tell you what I do in the morning in the next okay. step. But I tone day and night. I use a cotton pad and that gets off maybe what might be left over, but this is really good. It takes off everything. This is the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Lotion. Um, but it's not a lotion, it's a toner. And it's great for calming inflammation, it's great for prepping the skin for your next steps, like oils and moisturizers. So that's what I do. I do sometimes tone, because I still have some toner left. Yeah, I don't even know how old it is, but sometimes I want to get rid of it, so I'll dab it on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, I have so much stuff that I kind of rotate, but yeah. as a as a basic thing it's a serum and then i've been enjoying right now the cbd oil from knockout colors i'll just put this right after the cleanse and just roll it on with a roller type thing one of the jade rollers mm. and it feels so good it feels like a facial and i i really don't need anything else and then and the other times i will just use the tatcha cream the so, water cream the water cream so just a moisturizer like that mm. So I don't always use actives on my face. Mm -hmm. And what are actives? With this nice, oh, I can never say it. Nice. Niacinamide? Niacinamide? Niacinamide. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I think this is an active. Yeah. Yeah. Chemical exfoliants. That's for 
skin texture, right? Like I believe it's her like yeah, skin texture and it seems to help with any kind of little bit of breakout and stuff like that. Niacinamide. What other things do you actives. use? Actives. Any actives I have. This I use not often at all. This is the lactic acid by The Ordinary. It's the 10%. I wish I got the 5% because that would be Yeah, gentler. so those ones, like you can build yourself up to yes. using these things, but in a way you don't want to do that because it does, you don't want your skin to get too thin. You don't want it to get used to this yeah. either too. Yeah, you want, you want to shock your skin. It's like, yeah. it's like the way you want to work out. You want to kind of like do different things. You don't want to just do mm. one type of workout. I've also been trying out the Knockout Colors Vitamin C Spell Booster Powder. You kind of mix this into an oil or even water and it's like powdery and rub it into the skin and sort of brush off any like little powders that might be left. And then when you wake up in the morning, your skin so is so soft. soft. So yes. soft. I especially like to rub this in with an oil. Yes, I did that too. But I don't use this every day. These are again the actives that are just occasionally maybe two times a week. Mm. Ish. Mm. always do also on Sundays I do one of those dopey masks you get mm. like in your Christmas stocking you know the ones the Korean that ones? makes you anyone like yeah I don't do masks often enough because I get so freaking lazy oh, I'm like boring. I want to go to bed yeah me too yeah and uh I also do use um hyaluronic acid which like binds water into your skin because I'm so freaking dry I'm dry I don't have oil I don't have water I need all the things, so I use that. How you get so dry? I don't know, mama. I do not <laughs> know who did this to me. And I don't know, we live in Canada. It is dry here in the winter, really dry. Because like of the heat and everything. The, the cold. My it's, hair is dry. Yeah, it's bad. Ugh. But, okay, oils, face oils. I swear by face oils. We've got the knockout colors. I got the colors. CBD one. The CBD helps with puffiness, by the way. Yeah. Very much so. This is the emerald cannabis. It's the one by Herbivore, the emerald one. This one's great for under makeup, personally. Dry over here. Oh, and I have a little cocktail I concoct from the ordinary. There's a boorish seed oil, chia seed oil, sea buckthorn oil. This is just for people obsessed with oils like yeah, me because okay. this revolutionized my skincare. But I'll say something funny about this one. The sea buckthorn looks like iodine. Oh. It's like one drop of it is orange oh, so AF, and you look like an Oompa Loompa. No. And people complain about that it gets all over their pillowcases, but you only use a tiny bit. And this is how dry my skin is. It disappears in five minutes. It's not orange wow. anymore. It's gone. It's in That's there. That's wild. And then the borage seed oil. I love this, but it kind of smells funny. Like some people say mm. it smells like cooked chicken. Cooked chicken. Chicken? Yeah. I thought it smells like uh, paper mache. I'm not selling this well. I don't smell. But I think all these oils, experimenting with oils for hydration, for suppleness, for some water retention, they save my skin. I use mm -hmm. them day and night. I use them for gua sha. I'm going to talk about the gua sha briefly. And you like massage and you pretend you're forming a jawline. You know? Yeah. You ever do that? I should so do good. that. And then these two little ricky, rickety little muscles happening the Botox here. Botox muscles. Oh, I kind of was thinking last night that I want Botox just to relax this muscle. It's so tense. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm like, it's good. It feels good to yeah. rub it out, but. It's very nice to having Botox. Lots of tension there. Nothing like fresh Botox. <laughs> Does it actually like relax yeah. you? Yeah. Like I, it, when I get it done, like it takes. A couple days to kick in, but mm. once it does, it's like, ugh. Does it make you feel Feel relaxed better. As yeah, well? it makes your yeah. headaches go away if you're a squinter like mm -hmm. me. It really helps with that. It's so good. Wow. I highly recommend. And then in the morning, we kind of did in our last video, I did my step in the morning because I already showered at night and I pooped in the morning and I wiped. I don't know what your problem is. Everyone well, knows I guess it's nice to I, shower. Okay, after. Right, that's right, that's right. okay. <laughs> but <laughs> so I just use the micellar water on one part of the pad, one of these pads, and you know wipe off whatever grisola was on, 
And then on the other side of the pad, I use Pixie Glow Tonic, and it's got the 5% glycolic acid in it. That's pretty affordable so, too, right? Yeah, That's and the, I make sure I get in between the nose, and I got the folds here in the nose. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So the skin is nice and smooth to start. I can use an oil in the morning, it turned out. Like, it doesn't mm. rake stuff up. So I have another oil by Knockout Colors. Then I, I put on... Um, Sunscreen. 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 Every day. Every day. The only day Every I didn't day. do it was New Year's Day when I was vomiting all day from hanging uh, over. That was the only day I did not wear sunscreen, people. And we're not going out much, obviously, because of COVID times. But wear your sunscreen. Yeah, wear your sunscreen because you are going for your walk. Yeah. Yeah. And I also have the Ordinary Moisturizer, which I used to seal in the oils. I use all the hydrating things. So, but do you wash in the morning? I do not wash in the morning. I just splash water. And oh, then okay. I use the toner on the cotton pad to get off any maybe little bit of something that might be there from Okay, so similar sleeping. to me then. Yeah, I don't like, like to I wash don't think you need to morning. cleanse in the morning if you cleanse at night. And yeah. you should always cleanse at night. Oh, yeah. Guys. Some people Guys. don't. I know. I have friends who never wash their face at all. How do you get your makeup off? They don't wear it. In their whole entire life? I don't know. Oh, makeup wipes or something weird? Oh. <laughs> okay. Any last things you do? Um, I have um this regenerating and simulating exfoliator from the Province Apothecary. I mix honey in this. You hate that. But I like it. I mix honey in it and I do a face mask very occasionally when I can be bothered. To. Yeah. I really like that. It's sort of got that bit of physical exfoliation but it's very gentle i haven't yeah. got a professional face facial for many years no i used to get them and once. get the them to extract things and i was like ow ow yeah you yeah. know i don't like it i don't really like facials sounds like trauma to your skin it's I trauma yeah. yeah i think so Anyway, yeah. anywho, anywho, that's our skincare. Many years of discovery have brought us to these products, different skin yeah, types. Basically, but... yeah, you just have to do your due diligence, mm. do it daily, and you know, don't overdo things. Yes. And but make sure you know everything's off at night, and yeah, bare minimum, take it off at night. Yeah, and sunscreen, sunscreen. bare minimum, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but these products have really changed my skin for the better and make makeup going on so much better. And that's, that's really what we care about. Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> I agree. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye witches. witches.